Certainly so much of our time during the pandemic was devoted to those stories of how we were all affected. Yeah, everyone's life was impacted, but there were a few who saw an unusual opportunity and actually started a business despite the increased odds. Well, in my Chasing the Dream series, we've met several Kentuckians who stepped out on faith. And tonight, a Paris woman who actually took over a business that was about to succumb to the pandemic before she stepped in and turned it around. Ask any resident of the city of Paris and they will tell you how proud they are of their downtown. I did a story here last year of how everyone came together to support local and that allowed several small businesses to survive the pandemic. The fancy Flamingo Boutique was one that needed a little help. Kimberly Ray was involved with another business in town when she saw a need here. COVID slowed things down quite significantly. So um, this was already set up to be a boutique and I thought, why not? I like to shop. I couldn't go out and shop. So I wanted to do something for our little community where they could just still come and feel comfortable and get away a little bit. That was July 2020, right in the heart of the pandemic and months before a vaccine was produced to open up our economy. But she says traffic into her store was so good when she opened, it was as if everything was normal. They would stay away from each other and um, if it weren't for the mask, you really wouldn't have known anything was going on. The pandemic was getting worse after that, but Kimberly's vision was unwavering. I have a great support system, um, so no. I knew if it failed, then my support system was there to lift me up and try something else. With the pandemic behind us, hopefully, and the restrictions now in the past, prayerfully, Kimberly is full steam ahead. Yeah, we'll fluff a bow. How about that? Taking lessons learned from her customers to make her store better. If they're looking for something we don't have, they've given us an idea on what to find, and we'll get that in. And, you know, it helps somebody else who might be looking for the same thing. People are just so grateful that this and other little shops are here, so they don't have to go to Lexington to find a gift. Um, that's what I've learned. People are grateful. They may not always say it, but you could see it. Well, Kimberly doesn't seem like someone who shirks from an opportunity. Uh, with the pandemic in the past, she's now planning on opening another business right next door to expand her dream, if you will. That's very, very <laughs> cool. Well, if you have an idea for chasing the dream, send us an email, news at wlex.tv.